Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Halloween tutorial type thing. Um, I think this would be good for like witches, vampires, whatever you want to do pretty much because it's just a super natural black. Um, you can do nude or red lips right now. I'm kind of like a vampire witch type person. Um, and like for nude lips you can do like maids and cops and random stuff. I mean it's just a black smoky eye. It's really simple. I've done black smoky eyes before. Um, this is just kind of the costume. Like if I'm wearing a costume this is kind of what I gravitate to because it's just so easy. It looks put together. It's um, it's not overdone. It's not anything like that. Um, for one of them though I did add these false lashes. And like yeah this could be witch. This could be vampire also. You just kind of have to make it your own and do what you want to do to personalize it. You can add um, blood um, coming down from your lips. You can add piercings to look like a goth. You can do... Um, what else can you do? You can just doodle on your face right here to make it look like veins like from the Vampire Diaries people. Um, just kind of make it your own. Add some glitter. Add some falsies that are like not like these, like the colors of your costume, stuff like that. Just um, giving you the basics of the makeup tutorial so that it can kind of guide you in the right direction. It's just something super simple that you do and then you can pretty much add whatever you want to it. So I'm just going to stop rambling and let's get on to the tutorial. Bye! Okay, so you're going to start off with a white base and whatever primer. I already applied my e.l.f. primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my lid real quick. Okay, so now this is my 88 Warm palette. I'm going to go into that matte black that's right there. Um, this is a really good palette to have just overall, not just for Halloween tutorials or anything like that. And so is the 88 matte palette. Uh, well, I prefer matte over shimmer. But they're just really good because they're really convenient. And you can always find some colors that you need that might be similar to a, another color that you need. Just don't have in your collection. So I'm just going to take that black tap off the excess and just place that all over the lid. This is really basic smoky eye. Um, I'm going to try to just do this with two colors, black and a highlight. Um, so don't go overboard on the crease. Just really stick that to the, the lash line and the lid so that it will be easier to blend out uh, like like, if you put the color, like, into the actual crease, it'll be really hard to blend out. So you just kind of want to put that on right there. I lie. I might use three colors because I want a kind of shimmery inner corner. And this is just basic for every Halloween tutorial that you might need. Um, pretty much suitable for any costume that you might want. Unless you're dressed like an angel or something, then I'd probably suggest you go a little bit lighter than this. Okay, and I'm not going to take it all the way in. I'm just going to leave a little gap right there. But really, really pack it on the lid. You don't want any of your skin to peek through. Tap off. Bring it into the bottom lash line. Not all the way in. And I would suggest, since this is kind of like a special occasion, like Halloween, you know, you want to look like your best or whatever. Or not really, because a lot of people like put blood all over their faces, so it's not really looking their best. But, um girls, I guess, want to look their best. Um, I would suggest you do your foundation and under eye concealer and all that stuff out. Okay, so now that that's been applied, you just want to kind of grab, <coughs> grab any little um, fluffy kind of brush you have. This is from like Walmart. Um, and just start blending that out. You don't want to take it up too high, but you do really want to blend this color out very well. So that it looks like you have more colors in there. So it looks really smoky. Okay.
Okay, now I have that all blended out like that. I'm just going to take a highlighting brush, anything that you might like using for your highlight. And I'm going into just this natural skin tone color. No, I'm going to use the white, actually. Like one of these whites that I have up here. I'm just going to highlight. And I kind of want this to be a little bit more dramatic, I guess, on the highlight now. And then you just kind of slowly start blending at the edge. Usually I bring down my highlight a little bit more to control um, that blended color right there. But I did an okay job of blending and it didn't go that high up. I tried to stay really controlled while I was blending. I just kind of kept it in the crease, worked it out, you know? So now I'm just applying that white color. And I'm keeping that, like I said, pretty much up there. Not really blending it down that far down. Down that far down. Wow. Okay. Guess it worked. And I mean, this look is just, like I said, it's a universal look. And you can wear pretty much with any costume. And I'm just going to highlight... right here and I thought about it and I'm like well angels who are trying to be sexy have smoky eyes too so I guess just keep this inner part highlighted and don't line your inner rim and I think you should be good just add like white glitter to your face or something I am going to show you a little bit of different things so that you can kind of customize it even further to your looks to your costumes I'm going to take that down there also Brighten that up a little bit more. And now I'm going to take... Is this the highlight color I liked? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this highlight color right here. The fourth one over. Second one down. Um, I'm just going to highlight right here. Make that really bright. It's not really like a shimmer. It's more of like a duochrome kind of color. Like, it kind of transforms into, like, a goldy shade. I'll just use whatever's on my finger. So I don't have to dip my brush. <laughs> and it just kind of adds a really nice, subtle highlight. Now I'm just going to go back over with my blending brush, which probably has a little bit of product on it. I'm just going to really soften... At that inner corner, at that outer corner, even further. I'm just gonna use a little pointy brush. This is an e.l.f. brush, actually. Yeah, I love this brush. And then I'm using an Essence black liner in a Midnight in Paris. It's one of those gel liners. I'm just gonna line the top so that I don't have any gaps. You can do this messily, no one's really going to see it. It's super dark, I just kind of really want to get in those light eyelashes. You can even line a little bit right here, just be super, super careful. Just kind of make those lashes look a little bit thicker. Trust me, you're, you're going to see the lashes and they're like, what? You want to make them thicker? It's just the lash line. So that you have something like on that inner corner so that it'll look crazy. Trust me, we're gonna look crazy. I'm contradicting everything I'm saying. Chillin'. Just like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab some lashes like these. These are the Halloween lashes by NYC. I bought two pairs of these. I love these so much. I wore these to Arm and Van Buren, kind of with the same style that I have on my eyes right now. Just super simple black smoky eye. The only difference is I tied a piece of tape right here and made it super, super sharp. But I felt like a round shape would make it more universal. But if you do want a super sharp edge right here, um, that could be good for a cat eye. So yeah, which I'm probably going to film a cat eye tutorial actually, but not black black like this because then it obviously be the same which I mean I already have smoky eye tutorials that look like this you can refer to my naked palette glitter blackout glitz I think glitter it's on it 
and I just added like whatever um, eyelashes to that instead of these super dramatic ones. I'm just gonna let that set for a little while. Oh, this is what I did. I added it. Okay. So now I'm just gonna grab a brush like this and fill in my brows a little bit. And um yeah, these eyelashes are really suitable for pretty much any um, costume as long as you're wearing like silver or anything like that um, cat eyes um, nurses vampires witches whatever okay. you want so now that I have that all nice and done I'm going to my I'm gonna do my concealer um, if you're going for like a vampire look you could skip that if you want unless you want to look like super like sultry and not be like and be like flawless vampire like a cullen or something um yeah so I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna add some powder because I don't feel like doing my foundation right now now oh my gosh I still have the worst under eye circles I haven't slept much or I have I just don't feel like I have it's weird I'm just tired I don't know when school started again I'm still haven't gotten back used to it okay so I'm going to use, and this is a new one, a new e.l.f. duo, I'm just going to use the bronzing side, really hollow out those cheekbones, especially if you're going for a vampire look, or witch look, but I just kind of want to look contoured. Go up, right here, you can use a darker bronzer, and like, not bronzer, just kind of use like, brown, no shimmer, no nothing. And that'll really give you a hollow, sunken in look. Like if that's the look you're going for or something. I don't know. I have the worst tutorials ever. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to take the peachy side. This one. Blend it from here back. Now, here. Like, since you're done with your eyes and all that stuff, again, you can change the eyelashes to match whatever costume you want. You can just not do any crazy lashes, do mascara, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to be doing... What am I going to do? Right now, you can just apply a nude lip if you're just going to do, like, a, a sexy costume or something. This is creamsicle. It's like the generic Halloween makeup that I see everywhere. Of course, without the crazy lashes, but glossy. You know because it's not glossy enough. This is the Wonder Woman one. Okay. And now you can leave it like that and do whatever you want and if you like nude lips but I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna turn myself into a vampire you can use red but I really love this color for fall I think it looks more vampire-ish anyways this is black cherry I love one Okay, and that also works for like gothic makeup, like if you didn't have the lashes, like you'd look like a, just a goth kid, and you can skip the blush. If you were a vampire, you can also get those like cream based makeup uh, things that they sell, like um, like you, you kind of put water on a sponge and then you kind of dab it all over your face, like those kits that they sell um, at like Walmart, H-E-B, Target, all that stuff. And then we have, um, like, you could do, like, no blush. I just kind of want to add color to my face. Um, you could do no blush and just hollow out your cheeks if you want to be a vampire. Um, I think this kind of goes for a witch also. Um, yeah, I really like the dark lip with the 
super dark eyes for Halloween because it's one way, one day you can get away with stuff like that. Now I just realized I didn't like apply mascara, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do that <clears throat> so I can show you the rest of the basic looks. I just took off my eyelashes and apply some normal. I'm just gonna apply my elf like black dramatic lashes. They're just called dramatic lashes. They have other ones. I think it's natural or something. But I like these because they're nice and full and don't look super fake. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Just regular false lashes. Some of my favorites. Mm, now, I think I'm just going to add like some glitter and disco ball myself up. Okay, now if you saw my blackout glitz tutorial, it's pretty much the same thing, just using the Naked 2 palette and this glitter. And this is, I have no idea what this is color-wise, but it's the white one with iridescent sparkles. And it's the Wet n Wild Mega Sparkle Confetti. Not eye safe. Hmm. Um, and I think I'm just going to apply this black one. If you have any, like, solid black glitter, I think that would be best because it's just going to give it, like, a wet, shimmery appearance. This one actually has green and orange sparkle to it. And, um, what you can do is just grab a little bit of your lush glue. Kind of go like this to it. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Like so. Don't rub it. It's going to make it all come off and keep it straight on the lid because if you put it on the crease, your eye is not going to be able to move correctly and it sucks because it feels super uncomfortable. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into the lid and go like this. And this glitter is from Mexico, so I have no idea what brand it is. If you know what this brand is, Bisu, you let me know. Orange and green and like the night sky or... I don't know, but I really like this. I kind of want to go out like this now. Should have done this after I showered. I thought it was going to be like super dramatic to the point where I like go out. these are the Urban Decay ones. You can grab like this and do what I did in my Blackout Glitz tutorial and just do like the inner corner. Um, what else? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, you can do whatever you want to it. Just grab some ideas on your own and just work work with what you got okay so we are done um i hope you all enjoyed my long tutorial and i'll see you all in my next video hopefully a cat typey leopard person i don't know but i'm gonna do like definitely like a cut creasy cat eye double wing thing okay bye everyone